Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. In this Vivian Tries, we're trying a brand new as seen on television product, Dust Daddy. This thing just hit the as seen on television market. This thing can pick up dirt and dust and all kinds of stuff and leave behind small delicate items. It sounded a little too good to be true. That's another reason I picked it up. Because if you look at it, it just looks like a normal vacuum cleaner attachment. But the secret is this attachment down here, they almost look like small little straws. And those little finger straw looking things are actually going in between delicate or really small items that you're trying to not pick up or maybe pick up dirt underneath or around those guys. I have little stations all over my island here with all kinds of small, delicate little items that we're gonna test this guy with. I could not collect dust and I wasn't gonna go outside because I don't know if you can hear that. It is literally still raining. Remember a few videos back I was telling you guys it was raining? It is still raining. It hasn't stopped. It's been raining for 40 days and 40 nights and you know what that means. Get ready, Jesus is coming. You are warned on this video and tries. So I thought, well, couldn't we do it with some instant coffee because it's brown and we'll be able to see it? Yeah, that's gonna work. So I've been shaking this guy really, really good to kind of get this to be a fine little powder. And we're gonna sprinkle this all of my little compartment and little stations that I have here on the counter. Then we'll see if this thing will just pick up our pretend dirt slash coffee or if this thing is gonna pick up everything with it. Now this attachment is somewhat pricey when I already have one attached to this expensive as vacuum that was for free. Well, not really for free, but part of my vacuum already. Is it worth getting a desk daddy? Oh, and I forgot. I don't only have my little stations here. I also have a silk plant. I brought one too because they have one in the infomercial. Cool, so that's what it looks like. You guys see it? <laughs> you might be able to see it. You might not. Take this little thing off, maybe. So it has a little plastic thing there. You see it? I don't think you take that off. I guess you pull it back. Here are the little things I was talking about. They remind me of like little straws. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, they're tiny. So they might just go around all the items that I have for show. In your box, you're also gonna get this additional attachment. So we're gonna attach these two things. If you can't figure it out with some goddamn common sense, then we read the instructions. Remember that rule on this channel? It doesn't look that hard. We're about to start reading some instructions because I can't do it. <laughs> instructions, we're gonna need you this time. This piece here is our universal adapter. Okay, so the instructions say that this little plastic piece here is if you want it to kind of fan out like that, you pull it back and then you pull it forward. If you want it concentrated in a specific area and you want all the little, we're gonna call these straws. If you want all the little straws to be in one place. To clean it, you're going to, we're gonna pretend like this is your vacuum. You're gonna attach your vacuum to the end here and then shake it like that and then it sucks out all the stuff that's in your little straws, okay? That's how you're gonna clean it. Now, if I could just figure out what the hell I'm doing with this. I got it! Haha, <laughs> there it is, yay! It feels really nice. It gives you four types of instructions. It gives you instructions for a large hose, a smaller hose, an odd-sized hose, which I think that's what this adapter would be for, and then number four is for a Dyson. There is a little hole here in the front. Can you guys see that? You can close and open that if you have a vacuum that is very powerful. So you can kind of control the suction by opening and closing this little opening there. So this should attach right onto my Dyson. No special attachments needed. You might even go out to my car and suction up some dust because there is some dust in my car. So let's see if it's easy to put on my Dyson. Before we start, I gotta grab my coffee and start sprinkling it all over the stuff. So let me show you guys some of the items that we're gonna use as part of our demonstration. First thing we're gonna try is a keyboard because 
everybody's got a nasty ass keyboard with food and all your snacks because you know you eat over your computer all day you want to hide the evidence you want to suck it up with this dust daddy we're going to sprinkle some coffee on this keyboard and we're going to suck it up we have two small little compartments one of them has jewelry and earrings one of them has paper clips four spoons in there some miscellaneous keys who the hell knows what these keys are for but we all have a collection of keys just in case just in case nothing because you'll never fucking use these keys i've been trying to throw those away for years but i'm not allowed to we have some markers we have our laser bond from one of my videos we got some challenge items in here we have some rubber bands and I threw in here some pinto beans, black beans, and some lentils. I wanted to see if the dust daddy would pick them up. The last item that I have right here I can't pick up is kind of big. Nosy ass me went in the garage digging for stuff and I found in my husband's toolbox organizer with all kinds of nuts and bolts and washers and screws and all kinds of things. So we're going to use that as well. I think we're ready guys. Now I can start sprinkling Vivian dust all over these things. If my husband goes to his toolbox and his shit has coffee in it, <laughs> I'll be hearing about it. First one is ready. Look at all that dirt. It's not dirt. Oh. You okay? A little bit on my paper clips. My jewelry. There's dirt in my silverware. And now the keyboard. Look at your keyboard right now. Don't lie to yourself. That shit nasty, isn't it? You need this just for that damn keyboard. Here we go. Okay, everything has dirt on it. Let's start sucking up some shit. I want it to be concentrated, so I'm gonna do it like that. Fuck, I broke it. <laughs> uh, well, what? Okay, put it back. Okay, it's back. Now it has this one little, you can't see that, but it has this one little plastic thing on one of these little straws that is holding this guy from coming off. All right, here we go. It sucked up all of that coffee and it did not pick up anything else. Now let's move on to the jewelry because that is small and delicate. This thing better not suck up my earrings, that's all I know. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Holy shit, it worked. No coffee left. All of my jewelry is in there. Paper clips ready. <laughs> Clean. Go. Clean. Now let's try the challenge basket. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. It dropped all the beans. Did you see it? So we're gonna pop this guy open to see how much it picked up with the dust daddy. Oh, let's switch out the attachments now that it is empty. Let's do the spoons and fork. That wasn't a very good test because this stuff is kind of big. It's not gonna suck up a spoon. So let's grab those keys and see if it sucks up our keys. This is gonna be a better test because this has small little things in here. I should have thought of that. One, two, three, go. Oh, it sucked up some stuff. Can you hear it? First, we're gonna try the silk plant with just the attachment I already have on. No. Dust Daddy, here we go. Let's push this little plastic thing up and use it as a... Okay, now you gotta stay there, okay? Let's use it on the concentrated mode. But having it like this, isn't it the same as having it like this? Yeah. Oh, is that just gonna be floppy like that? That's not good. Fell off. I'm not impressed with the plant. It kind of sucks. This didn't do any better, but this didn't do anything. And this little thing fell off of it again. What the hell? Now, let's go to my car and bag you some shit up in my car. Okay, hold on, because I can't get this. <laughs> oh, there you go, gentle. Let's go out to my car and suck some shit up. Okay, we're in my car. The lights are about to turn off because the car is not on, obviously, but that's okay because you guys know I'm a motherfucking professional. I've, oh, I told you, I've come prepared. Do not 
fear. Vivian is a professional and you guys know Vivian has a whole damn assortment of lights. Uh, yeah, I have a whole assortment of lights. So don't fear. Vivian's got this. Look at this. Perfect. Got a couple more. I told you guys, like, don't mess with me. Don't mess with my lighting situation because Vivian has it handled. All right. Let's clean this goddamn car. Look at my setup. This is my favorite one. So my car is really not that dirty. There wasn't a lot to pick up. It did okay. I was trying to use it just with one hand and hold the camera with the other hand. So it was a little bit difficult, but I'm not really impressed with what the dust daddy will do in a car. I think any regular attachment can clean your car. I am really impressed with it picking up around the small delicate items and then dropping them if it does for whatever reason suction them up. I was not impressed with what it did with the silk plant. I think the Dyson attachment did the same damn thing. So I was really only impressed with the small delicate things. For $19.99, I'm not sure that's worth it. I'm going to give the Dust Daddy three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I am putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't let me turn off my lights because we got to save them for, you know, Jesus coming. Jesus coming. If this rain don't stop, I'm going to need my lights because some shit's going to happen. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs>